Hello. Um, it's nice to see you again. I hope you're doing well. Please, come on in. I got everything set up for us. Your books are here for uh, studying. Yeah, these are the correct textbooks. It's all good. I know this might seem like a little bit of a weird place to do it, but it's a good location. Very calm, quiet. Not too many people to disturb around. It's... it's good. I hope you're doing well. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm happy to help. I know that you've been struggling for a while now with uh, the course and stuff, but I'm just here to help you out as best as I possibly can. Uh, please, it's not to worry. I don't find it a bother whatsoever. You can just leave your stuff there. It's all good. Uh, find a place to sit, get comfortable, um, that's all you really have to do. Is there a specific, um, oh, sorry. Is there a, a specific thing in the course that you're struggling the most with, or is it just the overall concept? Uh, okay, that makes a lot of sense. I can help you with all of it, honestly. It's not a problem. I'm really good with this type of thing. Mm-hmm. Please, just, I mean, the more calm that you stay, the better it is for studying. So you, this is a better environment. Uh, we won't be able to have a long study sesh as, well, you know, uh, school's almost over, so. Mm -hmm. No, it's completely okay. It's not really a problem. I don't mind helping at all. Let me get the door and, uh, yeah, you can just sit down wherever you want. <laughs> Shh. Don't struggle now. You'll make it too difficult to go in. Don't be worried or afraid. As I said before, no one is really around to, uh, deem this a problem. Give it a moment to kick in. I'm not going to hurt you. I want you to be safe. I want the best for you. <clears throat> so, just ease into it. You'll be fine. I'll take great care of you. <laughs> Shh. I'll see you when you wake up. Come on. There. I was getting a little bit worried that my uh, chemistry course wasn't paying off well enough. <laughs> Are you doing okay? Um, don't feel a little bit wheezy or out of it? Well, that's kind of inev inevitable, but, um, I mean a bad type of weird. <clears throat> yeah. I got you some water if you need it. Good. There is a uh, there is no need to worry whatsoever. I'm just here to help you out. Mhm. Mm it is going to be okay. You don't have to worry. What happened? It's fairly simple, actually. I gave you a mild sedative to knock you out, and. Relax your muscles for a while, and then I put you in the music box. Waited till everyone leaves, and I took you out. Look, I have, um, I have struggled trying to talk to you for such a long time. I just, I wanted you to be happy. For a long time, I thought that you could be happy without me, and that if I got in your life that I would get in the way, but I have been looking after you and taking care of you for so long. I mean, there's all your stuff there. I collected it the day. I mean, it's not difficult to make someone disappear when there's not really anybody around that cares about them. I'm not saying that to be rude or cruel, but it's factual, and I think you know that. Oh, don't worry. 
I have enough money to support everything that we need to do. A place to live. Everything is fine. It's all taken care of. You don't have to be afraid or worry anymore about the future. I know you're a very paranoid person or you get scared about what's going to happen or what's around the corner, but you don't need to worry about any of that anymore. I'm here. Because I love you. Uh, um, sorry, that's a little soon, but... I do love you. I don't want to freak you out, though, so I'm trying to be a little bit more tame. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got me. Yeah, the love letters were me. Look, I'm not trying to make you uncomfortable. This is not the best situation, I, I get that. But everyone seems to think of my kind. They seem to think that we are these cruel, um, hateful, I suppose you could say love-obsessed things. I mean, there's a term for us. They call us yandere's. It's not true. Please, don't ever get it mixed up. That isn't what a yandere is. Oh, there's a concept, but it just means love struck. People always got the concept wrong. I'm not gonna go and murder all your friends and everyone you love and care about for your love and approval. That would get me nowhere. I believe to think that there's different levels of yandere. I am one of the more intelligent ones. I'm sorry. I know you're scared. I know this this is a lot to take in, but I really, really love love you. I know I'm a little bit stuttery or all over the place, but I suppose it never really comes out how you want it to. I've said this to myself now repeatedly over and over for the past week, trying to figure out what I'd say when you finally woke up or when you came into that room and you followed me. I didn't think you would, but I did one favor and you pretty much happily took me up in the offer. You felt safe around me, somewhat. So... That counts for something, right? I know I'm not this perfect person. We all have our flaws, we all make our mistakes, and... For a long time, I just wanted to see you happy. But... Now is the time where... I... Become happy for myself. I do love you, and I'm trying to make this work. I know that you're always indecisive and you overthink, as I've already covered before, but it's going to be fine. Over the next course of a month, you will get to know me. We'll hang out, we'll watch movies together, we'll do whatever the hell you want to do. I do not care. We can do anything. Just as long as you understand that I am here for you. I'm not going anywhere. And if by the time that all ends, and you want to leave, if you can't reciprocate the same emotions or feelings towards me as I do for you, you can go. This isn't a manipulative ploy to get you to stay with me or some crazy bullshit like that. I'm simply doing my own experiment. I love you, so I'll take all the other problems away. Everything that stresses you out, everything that makes you uncomfortable is on hold. And don't worry, in this due this time, when you are gone, I will help you study, I will help you get everything ready for your exam so you're not missing out on your education for when you go back, you'll be all caught up. I promise. I know that education is a big deal to you, and that you've been falling and slipping behind a little bit. I'm taking a guess that it's due to the lack of sleep that you've been getting. No, I, 
I completely understand that. I... I can't sleep well myself these days either. I can't really sleep alone. I get severe uh, paranoia or panic or feel like I'm always in the wrong for wanting to feel somewhat of any human emotion. And it makes me violently ill or shake. Um... Yeah. I'm not a perfect person. But for a long time, I've put everyone else's happiness before my own. Same with you. But I need to feel somewhat happy and contempt of my life because you never know when it's going to be over. When you do leave here, if you really want to leave, I'm not going to hold you captive because, well, I do have a path that I want for my life. You can already see that you're not in any restraints. I'm not trying to keep you hostage or... Uh, what's the correct word for it again? It's like... I don't really remember. Stockholm Syndrome. That's what it is. I'm not trying to do any of that. If you want to leave now, you can. I won't keep you here. But I'm asking you to give me a chance. Just one chance, or even halfway for the course of this month. If you want to leave at any point, you can leave. If it makes you uncomfortable, you can go. I don't want you to feel uncomfortable, because if this is to work, you need to feel safe in the environment that you're in, to feel loved and appreciated. I do have neighbors as well, so, uh... Don't worry about that, but, um, they can get a little bit noisy. <laughs> Please just don't cause any issues. You know, the screaming and stuff like that. I'm not, I know it's kind of a human instinct to start screaming and trying to get away, but the thing is, is I literally am not here to hurt you. I do love you. And I know that love comes in all different forms. This is how I express myself. It might seem a little bit crazy or fucked up, but it is a part of who I am as a person. This term that we get dubbed down as a term yandere, people will never truly understand what it is, or even the concepts behind it. But it is a part of me. Love struck is not exactly running around killing everyone, but I have an overbearing obsession. And the thing is, is if I never did this, if I never dragged you out your comfort zone, I wouldn't be able to forgive myself. You can leave whenever you need to leave. I will not force you to stay here. I know you want to be happy and study and meet your friends, but I am. Um, I just want to be there for you. I know you go through a lot every day with everything that happens. I know that you are not living with your family anymore as well. Yeah. I'm not going to ask what happened. You'll tell me in your own time. Well, it's not really any of my business, so I don't really want to pry. <laughs> Look. Give me your hands. You're safe here. I'm not going to hurt you. I will never do anything to hurt you. We all have a reason for doing what we do in life. We all have a reason for things and people disappearing and different concepts, I suppose you could say. I just want to feel somewhat happy and contempt with my life. So I'm doing this to, I suppose in a way, make sure that I don't have any regrets. So if you'd like to leave, you can leave now. Your stuff is there. You can take it and go. But 
you could also stay and give me a chance to prove myself? To be somewhat good enough? I mean, I might this smite in your eyes, as society puts it, or deems it a little bit crazy and not right and self-destructive, but... I'm trying. As I said before, this is not some sort of a manipulation thing or technique that I'm trying to pull on you. I'm just testing my luck. I'm not the prettiest girl in the world or even the smartest to a certain extent, but I like you. And sometimes I get the feeling that you have the same attraction, yet you're too shy to say anything. And it's cute, don't worry about that, but... I... I can't live with myself if I didn't take the sleep. And I really don't want to get arrested, so you can leave. Yeah, I did drug you. That is a bit of a problem, but... Uh, I'm good at finding my ways around things. Mm -hmm. So, do you think you'll take it up in the offer? I'll give you till tomorrow to decide. Wait, you will? That's amazing. <laughs> Nothing else better to do, really. <laughs> I'm really happy, honestly. Yeah, it makes me really happy. Hmm. I'm happy you get to be a part of my life. Well then, is there any requirements that you need, whether it be coming to your diet or anything? Weird question to ask when you're changing subject, yeah I get that, but I will need to know. I have grocery shopping today, so is there anything you're, like, allergic to? Okay. Mm -hmm. Just write a list if there's specific- th um, yeah, sorry, tongue-tied. Write a list if there's any specific things that you want or need. I'll get it for you. I really don't mind. I mean, if you want to come with me, you're free to come with me. I don't mind. Oh yeah, I can drive. Yeah, I've been driving for about three years. Uh, my, uh, uh, weird story, actually. My dad taught me how to drive years ago. He was, a a street racer, so it's kind of, kind of strange. <laughs> he passed away a long time ago. My mother, uh, she died giving birth to me, and he... Growing up as a little girl, I'd constantly be around him, and he, uh, he passed away about four years, five years ago now. Some people die doing the things that they love, and they don't really think about what they leave behind. But I've been extremely intelligent from a young age, so I got around how to take care of myself, and there was quite a lot of money left over from what happened, so I just bought a, an apartment, and I've been here ever since. Started educating myself and doing courses that <laughs> made me feel happy. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying. Not every day is the best or the perfectest day, but it takes time to just live a little bit, you know? Mm-hmm. Anyways, get your stuff and we can- or do you want to get changed out your uniform first? It's completely your own choice. Mm -hmm. Um, your clothes and stuff are there. I sorted the whole room out before you came over. Everything is here if you need it. Anything else that you do need, let me know. You have your own private bathroom. You're all good. <laughs> yeah. I want you to feel comfortable. I told you this. I'm not trying to make you move into the same bedroom as me and all that within the first day. I mean, I have my own comfort levels as well. Mm -hmm. Of course I do. I'm, uh, I'm a woman, so... Okay, 
uh, I'll meet y'all in five and just get everything ready and we can go grocery shopping. Mm-hmm. It should be fun. Just, as I said, give me a shopping list and I'll make sure to get it. Mm hmm Thank you for giving me a chance. Mwah. Just a kiss in the cheek for good luck. <laughs> I'll see you outside, okay? And remember, don't feel shy or uncomfortable around me. I'm not here to make you uncomfortable. It's just, if you don't want to be here, if you want to leave, you can leave. Please don't ever hesitate. Okay? Good. I'll be outside waiting. Mm -hmm. <sighs> of course. I'll, give you, I'll leave you alone to get changed. Okay, see you soon. <laughs>